Hey Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome to the Grace of Thrones. If this is your first time, if this is not, welcome back. I do appreciate your support. All right, so let's get into your message. Highly meditated. So with a license to chill. So, ooh, your inner peace is giving you a license to chill right now, okay? This is sitting on top of the world, top of the hill, whatever you are going to, wherever you are, you are given the license to chill and just meditate on your present moment, your past, your future, just embracing it, right? It's like so many thoughts, but like, high vibes, chill vibes. Okay, mm, so you so guys could be enjoying your food right now. It's like, make me one with everything, all right? He was frank with me. So somebody could be pretty frank with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you could be pretty frank with someone. Pretty straightforward. You're done with the mask in. That's straightforward with you. Or you could be that mask and just keeping it straight. Straight up it is what it is. All blissed out and nowhere to go. Enjoying tea. Guess I'll just chill. So I'm hearing sirens in the background too. It's like I feel like no matter what's going on in the outer world or around you, you are allowing like yourself to just be at ease and just chill. And you know, you got the license to chill. You may not have anywhere to go. So you're just taking it easy. All right, until you find somewhere to go. We have get your sweet ass outside. But some of you guys want to get outside, though. Live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. So I feel like you guys could be meditating and balance on like where you want to go next in your journey, what you want to do, like so you guys could want to get out more, but you don't want to just go anywhere. But even if it's just a little chill vibe, you want to get out and enjoy yourself, get some fresh air. Maybe some of you guys could be going to like by a lake, a pond, a beach, a pool, things of that nature. Okay. Remember, this is a general. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else, my dear. So let's see. Ooh, we have here. It's an auspicious time for new beginnings for you. Mm -hmm. Make time. All right, so very much of the main time. You must take time for yourself, even if it's an hour or a few minutes. Do something you enjoy. It doesn't have to get done all at once. It can be something that you look forward to going back and continuing with. All right, so embrace this time because it's an auspicious time for you. It's new beginnings and baby. Whatever you do, make time for yourself, all right? And that could, like, you know, be into meditating, like, where you want to go, what you want to do, some things you want to chill in, get something good to eat, sometimes you want to get out, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you could go out for something to eat, even if it's going out, and, you know, dining with yourself or grabbing a bite to eat with yourself, all right? Just making time to... Put time into you. Put the focus on you and just enjoy life, no matter how small the activity or you know whatever. 
Okay, we have Moon in Aquarius. The time is right for celebrating life, all right? Make the most of parties, gatherings, and other social opportunities. I celebrate this time. Come on. Okay. All right, so we have Tashi. All right, Tashi is a Chinese form of martial arts that involves a series of movements and postures. This practice is hundreds of years old. This is done in a controlled, quiet manner while practicing deep breathing. It helps keep the muscles limber and ease the stress on your system. So, you know, celebrate your life, make the most of parties, social gatherings, and things of that nature, and baby. Get your body moving, focus on your posture, focus on your breathing, and release stress. Do not keep it in your muscles or your joints. So you might want to look into some Tashi meditations or meditations in general, okay? Movement. No matter how small, movement is very important to release the stress and loosening up those muscles, keeping those muscles nice and all if not there. And then we have cat. All right, so you're being asked to make time. Once again, you're being asked to make time, all right? And this is two different oracles that you're being asked to take time in. So um, make time to focus on your own spiritual well-being and connect to the medical, the metaphysical world around you. So really getting in that high meditation, high meditation, know that you have a license to chill, really focus on your own spiritual well-being taking the time for yourself even if it's a few minutes or an hour and connect with the metaphysical world with around you so it's like spirit wants you to tap in and manifest once again this is a auspicious time for you to celebrate life embrace new beginnings All right water is very significant for you okay at this time too Right, you know, the body's made up mostly of water, so you want to make sure you're either you, you get in enough intake, number one. Um, you could even meditate in a pool or fill up your bathtub with warm water, close your eyes and let water fill your ears and concentrate on listening to your slow breathing. So airplane, like really Focus on your breathing. Focus on your well-being, spiritually, metaphysically. Connect to the universe and allow yourself to manifest and go high. Because with this new beginning, my dear, there's so many possibilities for you. Yeah? So what you want to do, look at there. We have Moon and Virgo at the bottom of the deck. Issues surrounding health and exercise may come to the fore. Focus on your physical well-being. So, get some ex time to get some exercise in and really focus on your health physically as well. So, spiritually, physically, you're being asked to pay attention and man you know manage your well-being, taking care of your health. Okay. Yes, my dear. loved ones okay loved ones are significant here wow we have everyone has lost someone they love in their life death is a part of living you're being asked to sit quietly in a room and put a picture of a loved one that has passed on in front of you close your eyes and speak to them about your life as if they were with you no one is ever really gone as long as you remember them so somebody's trying to connect with you all right could be someone that's in your spirit, in your ancestral line, friends, lover, you know, whoever you would know that, right? And if you don't, go ahead and meditate to connect to the metal physical world around you because spirit is trying to reach out to you, all right? Now, um, let's see. I'm hearing loud neighbors. I waited literally tonight. 
uh, to do your recording because I was getting work done and I figured, you know, but they're enjoying themselves, so I ain't gonna say nothing. Just go ahead with it. <laughs> uh, let's see what's shifting for you at this time. All right, we have the mermaid and the turtle. The elder will teach you. I know some of you guys could have some loud names. <laughs> um, happy but loud, my God. So uh, we have the mermaid and the turtle. The elder will teach you. So there's an elder that will teach you something. All right, um, something where you, you're being asked to believe in yourself. That's all you really need to do. Be patient with yourself. This is something for the long run, longevity, perseverance. Um, but like, then there's these distractions. There's this, the environment, this noise within the environment. Um, but things are shifting for you, all right? And as things are shifting, you're being like, the, okay, the mermaid also relates back to the water and the turtle also back to the water. We have water where you're being asked to really put your body into water, drink more water, meditate, and allow yourself to concentrate on your breathing, like, your breathing, your health, water, longevity, like you're being asked as things are shifting for you at this time to really align yourself on the balanced state and meditate to let you can really live like wholesomely, you know, healthy on every level and enjoy your journey. And be here for the long run. Like, like, yo, this is the wealth of your health will bring you longevity and the things that you desire. Because the longer you're here, the more time you will have to manifest your desires. Right? So you do want to, once again, focus on your health. Wow, you are unlike anyone else, all right? You have contradictions and you have complexibilities, but you are interesting. Your contradictions and your complexities are interesting, all right? And you should embrace that you are unlike anyone else. You are unique. You are one of a kind, all right? Uh, butterflies is significant. Flowers. Um, it's significant. I'm hearing a plane again. All right, as you're transforming, don't compare yourself to anyone because you're unlike anyone, but that's what makes you you, and it's beautiful, my dear. Embrace it. Embrace it. Let's see what you need to surrender. Surrender your attachment to results, all right? So, some of you guys are really working towards success at something or in general in your life. And um, here we have the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results, all right? Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. So once you've done all you can, don't trip about it. Do your part, let the universe do the rest, okay? Surrender defensiveness. All right, some of you guys could be coming off a little defensive, yeah? Or a little uptight in some areas. Okay, um, so we have defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered, all right? Going back to that Tashi meditation. <laughs> all right, 
So you want to stay centered and hear someone out, all right? Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. So if you're, you know, dealing with anyone or come across anyone that where communication, it's, it gets a bit tense and you may come off defensive, uh, whether you intend to or not, spirit is asking you to take a different approach. All right, allow yourself to stay centered, hear the person out. Right, and give a clear, non defensive response. All right, they'll hear you, they'll hear you, they'll hear you better than when you're being defensive. They might even get it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they might even truly listen. But just because somebody hears you doesn't mean they're listening, right? Especially when you're being defensive. So you are being asked to surrender to trust, all right? Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. All right, you gotta live life for you, baby. All right, you're also being asked to surrender to the wisdom of your body, right? And that's definitely gonna be in some keeping yourself centered and some meditation. All right, so listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Okay? Yes. Wow. Some of you guys are carrying a lot on your plate, a lot on your back, your body, your mind, your spirit. It's been a whole lot. It's like you're carrying the world on your back. All right, a lot of responsibilities and man, just the load in general, is, it's a lot. Um, it could be weighing you down. Why spirit is saying it's your surrounding health and exercise can come to the fore where you're being asked to focus on your physical well-being. You guys will be doing a lot of heavy lifting, you know, a lot of heavy, uh, taking on a lot of responsibilities. It's just a lot. It's a lot. And it's weighing you down. Some of you guys is like, damn, you're carrying the weight of something great in front of you. But at the same time, you're carrying the weight of the world on your back. Um, it's weighing you down. And it could be making you angry, it could be making you moody, frustrated, and no. Spirit wants you to know that there are answers, right? You will find the answers. You are finding the answers that you need, right? The solutions that you need. And it comes with you embracing that you are unlike anyone else. So don't do it. You don't have to do things the way others do it. What works for one person may not work for you and vice versa. So you gotta find your way of doing things, all right? Allow yourself to transform. So I want you to be at ease, live your life in leisure as you transform. Like, yes, transform and become your greater self, a better version of yourself, a higher version of yourself. But not by the by the uh, price of weighing yourself down, okay? And it's not worth it, all right? Fertility is uh, significant, so you're very fertile at this time. This could be, you know, physically, and, you know, and when it comes to fertility and procreation, or it can mean that you have everything it takes in you at this time to create what it is you want the life you want yes for yourself create a path of freedom create you know your desires you have you have the right energy you have it in you innately 
you just need to allow yourself to sow the seed and nurture it by starting with nurturing yourself nurture your ideas your endeavors your mind your body and spirit and everything you desire will flourish and then some all right healing all right some of you guys are really healing your um another plane okay some of you guys are healing okay healing you know your fertile essence all right physically spiritually mentally financially emotionally you are healing so that you can see your seeds grow in whatever shape form that is to you okay see your investments grow because you're growing in a way that you are not just stable but you're creating a stable foundation for your future and for your loved ones, right? Because you're being mindful and you're doing the work and patience. There's no need to rush with the turtle, okay? That's here, like, so you guys could feel like, oh, it's taking long for me, I'm getting older, or Oh, what I've done now and da 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 I don't have any time. No, no, no. Slow and steady wins the race, my dear. So take it easy and allow yourself to heal and flourish as you find the necessary resources and answers and solutions for your divine path. Right? And it all comes with taking care of you. And when you take care of you, your body can take care of you in return. When you take care of your body, your body will take care of you. When you take care of your mind, your mind will your mind will in return take care of you. When you take care of your spirit, in return your spirit will take care of you. All right, yes, my dear. So that being said. Let's get into the tower, that's what I'm hearing. Let's get into the tower. Wow. We have the devil here showing up. We have the seven of wands in reverse. My God. Your pentacles in reverse. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. There are things that you could be overcoming mentally, right? Um, it's been a fight mentally for you. You've been challenged, all right? Um, Capricorn could be significant here. The number 15 could be significant for you. Temptation could be very significant for you, right? Things, people, places that you're tempted um, with, or they could, you know, be playing mind games with you to manipulate you, especially in your recent past here. Yeah, so I would be mindful, all right? Uh, 
even with obsession don't obsess over anything going back to surrender um to your attachment to the results like you want something you want it you want it now i'm here like don't get obsessed and lose your balance because when you lose your balance you lose your protection all right there's something that you are creating or like um pursuing something that you want something when it comes to your creativity or something you're trying to manifest and build you need to protect it all right you need to protect your your spirit okay it's like because the seven of wands reverse is like you you need to get your center you need to get balance and that comes to prayer meditation and mindfulness be mindful of your choices okay be mindful of how you treat yourself be mindful of who you allow around you you know how close you allow people to you things of that nature so that is showing up but you need to really be mindful something you're doing okay well there's the choice that you could have made where it's not it's not in your best interest um this is like you could be trying to uh pursue something financially with someone with the three of pentacles in reverse it's not gonna work you're gonna have to find a way or you're trying to probably allow you know do something as a team as a unit with someone um and it's not they're not loyal or they're not you know like it's it, you won't like how things play out financially what i'm seeing here why it's even if they're good individuals people this could be two or more people we have um it's not it won't pay out great for your finances so be mindful how you're managing your finances and don't allow anyone to play with you all right all right a masculine energy could be significant here yeah. right they don't mean well they just want your money okay or somebody just wants to play with you and and then um throw you off course or balance. So just be mindful of your choices, all right, at this time. Let's get into the love um, oracle. Drugs and alcohol, going back to the devil. So do not allow anyone to play mind games with you, to, you know, allow you to take a path for your, you know, with, that is, would allow you to drown in addictions, substance abuse, or especially someone who, you know, may, you may know that does this, don't allow them to play mind games and tricks on you because they're not in their right state of mind is what I'm hearing. And so, they may sound good looking, talk good, and maybe, no, 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 no. Some of you guys, this could have been an ex, somebody you dealt with in the past that was like, you know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. Mm-mm, no bueno. No bueno. Even if it wasn't somebody romantically, it looks good, somebody platonically, it's coming to Bella and it's like, you don't want to deal with that shit. You don't need to deal with that. I don't understand. So you say you don't understand, well, they don't fucking understand. All right? But what you need to understand is it's not good for your protection. It's not good for your peace. It's not good for your endeavors. Whatever you're building for yourself, you need to protect yourself, protect your energy. All right? That's what you need to understand. Okay? It hurts so much. And it's like, if you allow this person, if this person or these individuals will hurt you, there's the people that hurt you in the past already, like the dirty, dirty in the past, but even not, what I'm seeing is that if you allow, if you try to build with these folks, with this individual, it will hurt your finances a lot. It will hurt you, it will hurt your money, bro. So you're gonna be mindful. 
And if somebody can't tell you the truth, so somebody's lying about something, why somebody's not being 100% honest, going back to this devil energy, like that lying spirit. Okay, we have the hottest love has the coldest end. So this is for some of you guys that it's about evil split. He's in love, but boom. Spirit is saying you want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. Or like someone who aligns with your purpose. All right, and you move on to better things. I'm only chilling with people. That help me elevate. All right, I forgot the song. No more parties. All right, so you are moving on to a steady and reliable path. And this is what I got here for you, too, as well as picking up. You're moving to a place where a lot of stable stability is there. Okay, not momentarily, not briefly, not up and downly, but steady. All right, going back to slow and steady wins the race. Okay. You're being asked to take a leap of faith into the unknown. So you are reliant on, you could be surrounded by darkness, but you're being asked to take that leap. And when you do, it will pay off for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, um. Let's see what characters this is significant this time. You guys will start to think about three questions you may have on your mind. I'm going to pull some oracles in there for you. Okay, a painter. All right, so some of you guys could be a painter or you could, like, you know, get into painting or maybe go out on a date where you paint or activity or just, you know, Maybe you desire to paint or you're an artist of some sort. You can know an artist. An artist could be coming your way. A Frankfurt painter could be coming your way. Mm -hmm. All right, we have within the vehicle. All right, so you are taking a ride, all right? Um, you're on a journey right now. It's like you're painting a new life for yourself, right? Yes, yeah, this is what I'm getting. And you remember that you have the freedom to create the path and the life you want. All right, so trust your path and go forward. All right, nice, new, shiny, you know, enjoying the view, okay? Now, we do have revolutionists, so this, uh, you could be a freedom fighter, someone who is fighting for their freedom, you can use art to express this, all right? But you will receive justice, all right? Um, I would be careful with driving, okay, uh, or getting, getting a lot of people to come into your vehicle because it's was in a vehicle or going to anyone's vehicle, all right, because we do have the cemetery showing up. Um, nothing to fear, though, because we have rest in place memorial stones because earlier we had this loved one that wanted to reach out to you, right, for some of you. Okay, some of you guys, there's a madman you have to be mindful of. All right, so there's a king, right, um, and there's a madman. So either you're the king and you're dealing with madmen, or uh, there is a madman and a king. You would have to make the balance choice to decipher and discern who is who and what is what. Uh, whether this is somebody platonic or romantic for you, all right? But you're being asked to stand in your authority and rule you are the ruler of your journey okay even when you go into other realms for some of you remember that you are the ruler of your life um there's an inheritance some of you guys could be uh coming into fortune through an inheritance by somebody who's really wealthy all right 
and some of you guys um there's someone that like it was just unruly and they just embrace the, the madness and allow them to go mad but don't allow yourself to go mad with them <laughs> and to go about their business all right all right so we have the sea all right so some of you guys definitely want to get out to the beach or we'll be getting out to the beach like ocean waves seaside I mean, this is a designated area uh, within the earthly realm that makes you calm and makes you happy. All right, um, shopping. So you guys can be going out to the mall. Like grabbing yourself a few things or just going out shopping or a shopping center in general. And that's nice. space right now but you are just like really um enjoying the little luxuries of life you could be bringing plants into your life into your home or you could be receiving in a plant um but there's messages because the windows of plant there's messages that divine universe wants to bring to you so i would say definitely going back to the meditation cards Meditate, listen to your body, and connect with the metaphysical world around you because there are so many answers you will find. So many answers you will find, okay? When you take the time to listen, okay? We have glass portals. Um, you know, if you are new here, you may um, have not heard of this, but I always recommend at night you cover your glass portals in your home. Mm -hmm. Okay, supermarket is going, so you guys go to the grocery store, you could be making life significant there, all right, or somebody that's the, with characteristic traits that I said earlier, all right. Fresh produce, and you guys are bringing in more fresh produce, or it doesn't need for you to continue your diet. And we have art exhibition, creative showcase, curated gallery. So you could be invited to an art show. Um, you could just be embracing art and, you know, putting on your own show or whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, so you guys desire to go to the gym, right? So you guys have a tough time getting there, staying consistent. Um, but fitness training is will do you wonders, all right? Uh, some of you guys are really looking into that, all right? Using the equipment at the gym as best as you know how and focusing on building your strength and your endurance. And that is awesomeness, awesomeness, awesomeness. So with that being said, think about those three questions you have on your mind, all right? Because we're getting closer to answering that. Let's see what's going on here. Ease for it wants your life to be at ease for it wants you to be at ease. All right, it's easy for me to receive, it's easy for me to receive, it's easy for me to receive. So, there's so much abundance that's here that's just waiting for you to receive it. So, allow yourself to receive it and by keeping yourself, putting yourself at ease and keeping yourself at ease, not taking on the world. All right, uh, we have divine love and letting go. All right, so we have ease. divine love and letting go so if you know you desire divine love be at ease with letting go all right so when it comes to ease once again it's easy for me to receive it's easy for me to receive it's easy for me to receive know that it's easy for you to receive divine love you have to be willing to let go of toxic love and embrace the divine all right, so divine love, when you offer everything to divine with the detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. So going back to where spirit said to connect to the metaphysical world around you and allow yourself to build that love connection with spirit, knowing that things will be at ease, you will be at ease. All right, so when you guys know your finances will be at ease. All right, um, don't be afraid to uh, let go, okay? This is in alignment 
with your divine destiny. Letting go is essential. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let it go. So when you see things are out of control, know that you, it may be out of control for you, but God is in control and give it over to God. All right, and know that it will all work out for you. All right, so let's uh, see about those three questions we have on you. Wow, number one, we have abundance, the first part out. Question number one. Question number two, you're being asked to listen to your intuition. And question number three, there are helpful people. This could be in your spirit team. This could be physically um, or physically. And at the bottom deck, you're being asked to trust. So trust and know that you have helpful people um, that want to assist and will assist. All right. Number one, uh, you also have helpful source, divine connection to source um, and your spirit team that will guide you and help you bring this abundance into fruition or increase it for some of you. All right, so you're very close to achieving your goal. Give me a smooth, you're so close. All right, there's a fiery uh, climax that approaches for one Aries, all right? And then we have step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So your destiny is asking you and, and is requiring you to step out of your comfort zone right there. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have a time to give rather than to take, no one of Virgos. And this is all about giving in, uh, to yourself, pouring into yourself, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. When you see you showed up in your way. All right, let's close off with a fortune here from the fortune box. Love is on its way. Wow. Love is on its way. And not just any love. Divine love, honey. All right. Your lucky numbers are 4, 6, 10, 35, 21, and 50. If anything may resonate with you, do go ahead and support, like, share, follow, all that good stuff. And I will see you soon.